Let me see now. We're just waiting for Aoife to join. So Aoife good is... Morning. Oh, good morning! Oh. <laughs> it's worked. It's worked. It's it worked. Me this is, for those of you, um, this is my first um, Insta Live. Now, I would have done one, oh, I think a year ago, Aoife, back at the beauty show in Dublin. Um, it was cancelled this year. I think it was cancelled this year. I can't remember now. but um, And it was like a two, three minute insta live so this is yeah a whole new uh, experience for me and i enjoyed being with you uh, was it two weeks ago three weeks oh, ago fantastic yeah absolutely great feedback still from us yeah. really fantastic and i've ordered absolutely some of those so i said so i can't wait to, to test out you ordered the garden of wisdom vitamin c i did and i'm waiting for it to come but i'm loving all the yeah. sparkle sharna well, I said, you know what, it's Saturday, let's throw on a little bit of sequin. I know I said colour, but I brought down a few of my colourful pieces oh, my um, there behind me. I know can you hear great. me okay, Aoife? I can, and I can see that lovely reflection of sparkle up against your skin. So okay. that's, that's only, really reflective. Good. The only thing about this top, though, is whatever the lining is, the black tends to kind of peek through. But anyway, look, we'll be grand. And I put on a little great. bit of colour in the earrings. No, it looks fab. I absolutely love the look this morning. I'm, I'm all over the place with my blues and corals, and I've got a massive, colourful rail here this morning, well, and I promise I won't go through it all. Fantastic. Well, as always, you look amazing, and you always do. Um, and I suppose just to give a bit of background, Aoife, on how we met, um, I think it was your holiday last year, and you were posting stories, and there was a, the beautiful outfits and colour, and that's when I think I started following you and I was like, oh my God, this lady is amazing and I love her style. I love the way she brings colour into her wardrobe. And we, you know, well, I started following you and we got to know each other. And then we had a lovely lunch in Dublin. We did, when, yeah. Gosh, when, we were allowed to have lunches. We did. Yeah, when I was uh, up visiting uh, Brahman and Mum and we could have chatted for the whole afternoon, we had uh, the nicest time together. And it's just so wonderful, um, you know, as I said, that we've become friends. So uh, oh, delighted to have yeah. you. Yeah. That's okay. Great, great well, look, service. a lot of my followers, Aoife, I know are following you. Um, but for those who aren't and maybe don't know the, you know, backstory, how did your kind of style journey begin? Oh, gosh. Well, I suppose... I've always loved fashion, Sharna, a bit like yourself. And we were having this conversation about your mother as last night as well. I've, I've you know, I have three <laughs> sisters who made me beautiful clothes growing up. Um, not say that I've always loved colour. I've just always loved fashion. I've always loved, yeah. I suppose, in using, using fashion for my personality and using fashion for my career in terms of giving me confidence to do the various careers that I've had. Um, so I've just... I've grown, I grew up with it um, okay. and I loved being unique with it and, and, and making it very customised for myself. Um, I wear brands from everywhere. I have all types of clothes. But as I've gotten older, I really have embraced it. That's the great thing about getting older is that you, you probably <laughs> embrace your, your true style. And um, about, I went back to work at a kind of an eight year career gap with my um, children when they were small. I went back to work um, in a global firm, uh, professional services, about gosh, four years ago now, which I absolutely okay. loved. Um, and I will say that, you know, going back after eight years of work was, was quite scary, to be honest. I can imagine, yeah. You know, I've just been at home. And I would have to say that it was really when you'd see about clothes and confidence and colour and confidence, because it was that, it was, it was probably, I had to put on an image to make me feel I could do this, that I have this. So it was really important That's so true. Me, yes. just to dress the part. And, and, yeah. and I always say in my talks, dress for the job you want. But I needed, as a, a mother at home with three small children, to, just to come back into the workplace, not, not looking like a mother at home. And, and no, no offense <laughs> to that, but I just needed to have that kind of confident look that people would trust me yeah. and that I could do my job for me very effectively. So I spent my time in professional services, absolutely loved it, met some really wonderful people here there, which are still great friends of mine. And yeah. then I decided to, um, I turned a birthday, not a particularly big one, but I thought, okay, what would I really love to do? Um, you know, what's my absolute passion? And I'm getting older. So I just went off to London College of Style um, did a lovely personal styling course there, met the amazing Jewel Standard yeah, Girl, the colour counsellor. Yeah. about Jews before. It sounds amazing. Yeah. 
Jules is fantastic. She's the author of two books. Uh, the first one, How okay. Not to Wear Black. And the day I met Jules... <laughs> I might need to read right? that one, How Not to Wear Black. Um, <laughs> the day I met Jules was quite, a, I suppose, a turning point for me because, um, you know, I'm going into my lecture and I'm, I hear I'm going to meet Jules Standish, the colour therapist. And I'm like, okay, here we go. Let's talk about colour. And I walked into the room and, and Jules was wearing this amazing, I suppose, Carl suit. And the energy that, that filled the room was, was electric. And I'll, I'll never forget it. It was just that impact of the, the more the effect she had on me, actually, I could feel her energy. I got energized by Jules before she even spoke. And when I kind of work with people one to one, it is about what, what, what do you want? What do you want the room to feel like after you have left? Yes, you know, especially. Yes. And you speak about this room. quite, quite a lot, Aoife. Yes. And that's, yeah. that's what I love and, and how color can affect your mood um, as well. Um, and we might touch on that, Aoife also. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. And it okay. probably leads me into, you know, uh, a very long, so, so a shortcut, long, long version of the story, but a short yeah. version would be that, um, you know, I started giving talks on the side and working with people one to one. Um, and I just realized the impact as was of my knowledge on yeah. them and how it made them feel. And then I decided last year, okay, let's fire like the, the bullet, bullet do it. and just go for it. And, you know, obviously, um, you know, it's been fantastic. I think the, the big thing with anyone starting yeah. their own business is that you've got to, I suppose, start at version one of yourself to get to all the subsequent Absolutely. versions. Absolutely. Um, so I, I've had an amazing journey. Um, obviously, t t timing at the moment is not great. But no. I, but that's been yeah. pivoting and learning and doing my online courses and all that. So that's been great. Yeah. So in terms of just colour and mood, Sharna, because... Um, you know, I, it's not like that I've always been into colour, but when I trained with Jules, actually, um, and I've gone back to train a couple of times with Jules, um, first of all, we, we, see, we see light in, in terms of wavelengths of light, and there's clones in the back of our eyes that view wavelengths of light, and there's long wavelengths and there's short wavelengths. Okay. And the long wavelengths are based, this is all the science now behind Right, it. okay. The long wavelengths are the, the hot colours, the red, the yellow, and the oranges, and they'll hold our attention a little bit longer. So when we see you know, a stop sign, if that's going right. to be a pastel, it's not going to hold your attention. No. But like the red traffic light. The red traffic yeah, light, that, exactly. Yeah, that would be yeah. a long wavelength that holds our attention for a bit okay. longer. On the other spectrum, you've got the, um, the blues and the violets and the calming colours that might be used, let's say, in hospitals or whatever like that. They're just a calming influence yeah. on ourselves. So in terms of going back to the mood bit, so... 80% of how we view light actually goes into our eyes. The other 20% actually goes through our skin into our hypothalamus, which can be um, associated with heat glands. So effectively, wearing okay. red, you know, wearing orange, all those increases our, um, I suppose, our heat, our, our hormones, like the adrenaline, the energy, all of that. And energy. not only increases it in you, but actually increases it in the viewer. And then wearing blue oh, okay. at the other end, and that is... Um, you know, the, the kind of the blue sea. And if you think about it, you know, how do we feel? And um, if we want to take this to a very basic level, how do we yes. feel on a February day and we're walking along the road and we see a daffodil? And yeah. even if we don't like the color yellow. It, you instantly it, smile. You instantly smile. You, it just makes you feel good. Yeah, yeah. It makes you feel good. And you probably say it about 10 times a day. Did you see the daffodils this morning? <laughs> you know, it's true. And I saw the other day, like snow, there were little snowdrops in the bluebells where we're living now. And yeah, it's, it's beautiful. I mean, it's like the sea where we are living. We're, you know, we're quite close to the sea. And just to go down there, that sea is so calming. The sh And the different so shades. Calming. Absolutely. Of blue in the sea. Different shades of blue and yeah. the blue sky. I mean, so yeah. we, we, it's already in nature before we start taking it into kind of what we wear. And yeah. something like if we, if we talk about, let's say, reds and the oranges. So red does give us that adrenaline. So if we were, if we look at our day at home at the moment and how we can use colour, because we are all in such a, you know, let's face it. I know <laughs> it's, I know we pivoted and changed, but it's, it's crap. Some yeah. of the days. Yeah. Um, you know, there are days we just want to, I suppose, get into our black leggings or black hoodie, and that's totally understandable. Yeah. But, you know, Absolutely. I certainly yeah. know I had, a, a, you know, if anyone who follows me, they saw me having this mad day on Tuesday where I was feeling crap and I woke up and I had orange trousers, pink top, and I was very energized. Oh. Today. I, was, I was just, and even people on the street were kind of looking at me and smiling. 
Um, it doesn't mean you have to dress like that, but it's just showing the effect yeah. you can have on people. So color affects us. 20% of it goes into our skin and into our system. And, you know, the other, like the other 80%, obviously, we see it through our eyes. So it's really important, the effect it has on our mood. When I talk yeah. about blue as well, is that, again, we look at the cam and see if we think of the NHS logo, um, if we think of the blue, of the, um, the blue RTE actually used that. Actually, yeah, you, yeah, I remember you mentioned that. And it's so true. And then you were talking about how, was it Sky then, Sky News and the red, and then the or Am I right? And yes, then and the red, yeah. that's yeah. sensational news. And right now, yeah. every five minutes of sensation, you know, we're hearing the news is not pretty good at the moment. So yeah. we just need that. And actually, I'm going back to looking at the RT news. And I, I, I see that calmness of the blue mm. on the set is actually what I need right now. Yes. Um, so that's just, that's just really important. So that's just, if I'm going through my day, if I want energy, if I want confidence, I wear my red. Okay. Um, or my yellow for joy. Orange is a great, orange is a mix of the, the red and the yellow. So that's great um, as well as it kind of giving us some motivation. But orange is actually a great color for Zoom. Um, not okay. because of the color, it's the color of networking. Um, right, and, and there's so much Zoom at the minute. So for anyone who's watching and doing Zoom calls, you're saying orange is a good color to wear for that. It's a great color for that. Okay. And just around the whole networking piece with orange yeah. is that, I don't know if anyone's ever gone to, because what, what you have to remember when you start wearing colour, if you wear colour, is that it does invite conversation, okay? okay? It does give an openness to your personality. And if you're ever at a breakfast in the morning time, like one of those, you know, early morning. Yes, the network breakfast, 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 yeah. And you arrive in, you're gone, will someone please talk to me? And um, I find <laughs> somebody I know, you know, standing there in a colour like orange, it's just, it is an, it's, colour is an invitation. Yeah. To remember Actually, that. that's a lovely way of putting it. Yes, and that's why I suppose yeah. black can sometimes be seen. And I'm not because you know, you're kind of, yeah, in the background. It's like, don't come near me. <laughs> yeah. Exactly, exactly. And black is a color absorbs light. We all we all know sometimes if we're in a hot country that if we're wearing a black t-shirt that the sun we can yes. feel it a little bit more because it absorbs it. So it can absorb our energy, okay. and it can look as well to somebody looking at you that you. Maybe may not want to have that chat today, and um, so it's it's a real interesting psychology. And like I said, at home, if I want the energy, I would wear red. If I was in a, if I'm in business and I want to go out and be confident in all my talks, I wear coral because um, it's a color. It's it's my red. It suits me. That's what you have on you now, isn't that? Correct? Yes, this is the kind of yes. color I, I probably wear when I'm Beautiful. when I'm doing my talks. Yeah. yeah, and it's 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 good for my skin tone. So I wear this kind of color for a little bit of confidence for me. It's also good okay. for some ability for my audience. And then, you know, if I want to be a little bit more serious, I'd add the color blue because blue not only is it calming, it's the color of tact, of communication. So it's a great color to wear. If you have a tricky conversation, <sighs> blue is a really good really? midway okay. to wear. You know, it's just, and then green. I mean, you know, green is that love green. green. Point. Yeah, and green's beautiful on you. I've, I've seen you wearing green. Do you know what? And I did, and I had a blouse. And do you know what? And you've always, anytime I wore it, Aoife, you'd always message. And this is what I love about you, Aoife, because, um, yeah, basically, Aoife will always maybe send an image of an outfit or, you know, a top or say, sure, that would be really lovely uh, on you. And you've helped me so many times um, for the Artfield Summer Festival that I did yeah. the talk. At. You sent me an image of a Ghani dress, I think, that was in the sale which I ended up buying, but that green top, it's funny you should say it. I did like it at the time, it was a Zara blouse, but I don't know, I, do you know what? Maybe it was the neckline, Aoife, I'm not too sure, but I ended up actually giving it to the charity. We did a, a bag of clothes, it's a cash for, or, yeah, cash for clobber. It was for the girls' secondary school. And I just, I don't know, it didn't, it was a lovely shade, but there was something about it. I was like, no, I just, you know, yeah. even though I do love green, that particular one, and you were always so complimentary about it, um, I think it was the neckline. I just wasn't Which mad. Was, there's a shade of green, um, Sharon, if yeah. everyone, because colour's very emotional. But I, I have a lot of people yeah. say, I'm not wearing green, it's my school uniform colour. But, you know, if I look... Um, <laughs> Brown look was just, mine. <laughs> was it you? What was yours? Mine was rust. Think of this, a rust skirt. And this awful shade of, like, hot chocolate brown it was dreadful it was uh loretto uh in fox rock and oh my god it wasn't a thing of beauty and the green tie so yeah i kind of yeah 
can't really visit those colors anymore. I know people people have that emotion and if I look let's say I'm the you know I, I'm let's say the four seasons spring summer autumn winter I'd be the spring season but like there's so many shades of green same in the the, the autumn palette which would be more the khaki you know there's so many different shades so there's a great yeah. thing left in there what if red doesn't suit me the reality okay. is that there is a shade of red blue there's a shade of every color for everybody so okay. for example um let's say if i go to blues and i i won't dwell on this too much but um you know this is my my best blue is the turquoise blue which actually happens to my necklace that's beautiful um, i love that shade yes it's great it's a great color and actually it's great when you have a tan and um, very hard color to get in winter that's the only thing um this periwinkle blue is also lovely uh, but let's say somebody with a very yellowy skin tone, like an Italian, Spanish, this muted blue is beautiful okay. on them. Um, you know, so there is that blue, pastel blue is great for maybe pale blondes okay. with a very delicate skin. So there, there is a shade for everybody. For everyone, okay. There ab absolutely is. So it's like I said, you, you, it's a bit like, you know, my mother used to say there's a lid for every pot. Um, <laughs> you know, if, if some guy jumped you or something, she'd say, you know, there's, there's, there's somebody else. I know. And um, so there is, there's a shade for everyone. And so, but, but we do have that attachment. My, my school uniform in Westmead was burgundy. And that's also oh, the rest better of the than brown. <laughs> but it's better than brown. And for years, I thought, I'm not wearing burgundy. And it's actually yeah. a, a good color on me. So I do wear it, but I wear it with pink. You know, I'll always mix, um, let's say I have a burgundy leather skirt here. So I'll wear it with pink. I love when you put the pink with the burgundy. I've seen that yeah. on before. It's magnificent. Love it. it. And color comes to life with other color. Yeah. You know, it just really, and I have a few examples here. I, I will show you, but just that's around, I suppose, the psychology the, of color. And term. mood. And you, you touched on there, Aoife, um, you know, about um, hair color. Like when, when Brahman and myself were growing up, um, it was more or less a case of mum would get the clothes and be like, right, you wear, you wear this. And I mean, sometimes we were dressed like identical. You know, I was the bigger version of the dress and Brahman was the smaller version of the dress. But Bronwyn is dark and um, uh, now while I, I have balayage and um, I was probably, I'm a bit blonder maybe than I was when I was younger, but mum, uh, she was forever putting me in pastels. Um, and I can remember vividly her coming back, I think it was Pamela Scott, and she had a mint green jumpsuit for me and a, a two a two piece baby pink. And she was always sure of your blonde pastels are, you know, lovely on you, just wear those kind of colors. But from talking to you, it's not so much the, whereas I would have thought, okay, my hair color will determine possibly what color looks best on me. It's skin tone. It's skin you tone. Were saying. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Our, our, our well, that was a new line. one now for me to learn. Yes. I mean, look, certainly um, I'm in the spring season. So if I have the same skin tone as, let's say, somebody that's blonde, um, they are always, I, I would be better, I would be better in the real bright, bright, brights, right? Kind of hardcore brights because of my dramatic kind of hair coloring. Okay. But somebody who's blonde with my same skin tone might be better and just a less dramatic, more muted bright. But no, okay. it's, it's, it's to do with the skin tone we were born with. So we all have an, you know, an inherent either blue or pink skin under yeah. tone, which, you know, doesn't change. Um, okay, obviously our, our, as we get older, yes, we lose pigmentation and we, we lose collagen and our skin yeah. grows a bit. But our underlying skin tone of blue and pink um, doesn't change. So if you okay. think of people with, let's say, um, let's say there's, two, there's, there's two skin tones, there's warm and cool. So just to kind of break that down, the warm skin tone is someone like Yeah, me, somebody's like asking that. actually, how can you figure out your skin tone? Yes, so the warm skin tone I have, so yes, I'm pale, yeah. but I do have um, probably a lot of hemoglobin in my system. We won't get into the science of that, but there's, you know, I do, okay. I do blush. I have a slightly high cheek color. I have a very warm skin tone. And I um, would be, let's say, the, the spring coloring, right? So then you've got uh, the Italian yeah. French that would have, a, let's say, a lot of um, melatonin in the system. And they would have like a brown hue, yellowy tone to their skin. So they are okay. beautiful, let's say, in the khakis, greens, whereas I'm better yeah. in the bright green. So you are looking that, okay. um, if, I, if I to use stars as an example, the Nigella Lawson, Angelina Jolie would have that cool skin. Yes. Sorry, at the back of it, we're talking about warm skin tone. So the Irish skin, okay. with freckles, 
has is a slightly warm skin tone, right? And they look great right. and the bright greens and the lovely red hair and all that. Um, they look fantastic. Yeah, they do. Yeah. Yeah, they, they look great. And then the, um, you've got, let's say, the, the Italians, like I said, the French and, and the Spanish that might have a little bit more yellow in their skin tone. Um, and I, I discussed this with right. you, Sharma, that you would be more of a golden skin yeah. tone. Yeah. Uh, so that the khaki green would be better on you than it is on me. Um, so and I, I love khaki. And khaki and khaki is great new. I can only wear it, I suppose, if I have got a bit of pop of colour there. Um, so then you've okay. got the, the the so let's say the cool side would be um the Nigella Lawson, the Angelina Jolie, that dramatic really? uh, stone tint, which where it's it's quite it's got doesn't blush, um generally can have very dark hair, can also be quite dark skinned as well. The, okay. the, the tone. This is where you've kind of kind of got to drape the skin. But the, doesn't yes. Yeah, the draping is really important, but doesn't have that kind of high colouring um, and is quite dramatic and look great in the fuchsias and the really dual toned colours. Oh, and yeah, then you've got yeah. the other end of school, um, cool skin, which is a pink undertone, which might be, um, let's say, people from Nordic countries that have very delicate features, blonde. And pastels oh, are yeah. beautiful on them. You know, they're just yeah. so flattering. Pastels drain me. And, and the whole thing is in terms of how, you know, well, I get into the science of it too much, how you know when a color, when a color suits you, right? You basically, you put it up against your skin. And just to say that the wrong okay. color can, can age us, Sharna, right? Can really add Right, so like... Because we were so like, let's say, okay, so this yeah. is, that's your, I yeah. wore this, was it Monday when I was telling people we were coming on, was it Monday or Tuesday? And you know, I don't wear a huge amount of color, but I had that on me. So yes, you, so you basically yeah. push it up. Yeah. And I know you're going to do some draping there. Yeah. So straight away, I can see with that, because you're more the autumn skin tone, which takes that muted yellow as opposed okay. to that bright neon yellow. So straight neon away, kind of yellow. Yeah, I can see your eyes, your hair coloring. Okay. I don't see any, okay. um, like when I put up the wrong color, I'll see kind of circles there. I'll see a little bit. Jesus, we don't want that. Here. No, <laughs> no, we don't want to highlight Definitely any not. pigmentation, circles, wrinkles, anything like yeah. that. And I can see with that yellow that your skin has just become, you know, as we say in color therapy, almost like, harmonized right and um, it just okay. it's, it's, it, you, and I see you first as opposed to the color because I think sometimes when we see let's say people with very dark skin we want to put on yeah. bright bright colors on them but then the yeah. color wears them and the color when you put That's on the so color true. against your face your eyes okay. should pop the lights in your hair and I always say to somebody if you're in Zara at half five on a Saturday evening and you want to buy yourself something <laughs> I love this um, and you're probably not looking your best, let's face it, if you've had one of those days running around the place. Um, yeah. If you put a color up against your skin, and if you say, okay, that'll look great with tan, that'll look great with lips. And if you have to name three or four things you've got to do yeah. to wear that, leave it back. Yeah. You know? But, um, but you know I what, working... Aoife, yeah. I think that even goes, because like, I'm a devil. Um, and again, you probably know this. That's like again, you'll go into Zara, and whatever about even color, you'll pick up something, and you'll fall. You know, you might fall in love with it, and you'll be like, okay, well now, and where did I see it? We say, do I have a pair of shoes that goes with that? Do I have a jacket that goes with that? So you do actually yes. have to ask yourself all these questions, and not you just do. kind of impulse buy. Because I find sometimes I'll go and I'll buy something, and I love it, but then I'll go home and I'll be like. Well, that was a bit of a dodge because anything I have doesn't go with it. Now I need to go out and buy a new pair of shoes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know? So it's a bit, it's like what you're saying. If yeah. it requires too much effort or extra, as I said, you know, I need to get a different lipstick or I need to, yeah, it's, yeah. It, it's not really, I suppose, how we're best, um, you know, and incorporating the color. We're all the color. you know, when we're there, we yeah. want to pick ourselves up. But um, certainly... When you know your colors or your body shape, whatever it is, it actually makes shopping easier. Because I know there's certain brands I won't even go into the shop because the brand would be too muted for me. Um, you know, so the, the, it actually makes, or I could go into, let's say, a shop and I could see a rail and I go, well, look, I'm not going over there because I just know. Because it's just not, you know, it's not your colors. It's no, it's not my colors. Now, I'm not 
religious about it because I have some yeah. lovely pieces and we'll talk about that. that oh, do, because you have beautiful it. pieces, Aoife. Yeah, but I want to make it my colour. I have pieces here yeah. that I kind of go, you know what, I still love that. And I know black isn't my colour, but I'll make it work for me. So the thing, the thing is that yeah. at home, you, when, I, right. when I work with people, I, I work with them in two, peop, two um, areas when it comes to colour. So a lot of it's to do with your personality. Um, I won't get into the massive science about that, but we even heard... No, but you did that with me. You did the personality. So when you're doing your virtual consultations with people or at this moment in time, because obviously we're not, but you know, you, I know you go to people's houses and you do virtual consultations as well. So the first step of that, like with uh, me during the week, and I mentioned this to followers, you had me fill out the personality questionnaire, which I know is part and parcel of kind of, yeah, where do you fit into the various different seasons, am I right? Where you or, fit into the various seasons, and there is, yeah. a, there is a, a kind of an, a science as well behind um, each season has its own personality traits, right? So, for example, but, I sent you, um, you know, four sets of questions to do with each season. And I suppose if I put it yeah. into, the reason why I do this for clients as well, and it's, it's obviously a, a, a theory as well that's been with the color flare system for It was brilliant. Years. Yeah, no, it's great. And, and actually, it gives me an idea. It was really enjoyable to do, actually. Yeah, and an eye opener. It's a real eye opener to do it as well. Oh, 100%. Yeah. And answering yeah. the questions, I was like, hmm, well, I'm a bit this, I'm a bit that sometimes. <laughs> yes, know? and we, we won't discuss it here. <laughs> no. But I think, you know, I, I, the important thing about the personality piece is that I suppose when I work with people, people think, oh my God, is she going to come in here and put me in pink and orange and all that? I no, know. You, you have got to work with the personality because yeah. if you are a person, the winter personality can be quite, um, how would I say it, uh, a little bit, how would it be, a bit closed in, right? Okay. Not a bit closed in, a bit, a bit private. And there's no right or wrong to these personalities. So when I go into work with the winter personality, now if I drape them and they are suitable to bright, bright colours, if their skin tone says, no, actually you're suitable to bright green, not black, I am not going to okay. get them into a bright green, okay? It's not fair on them because, you know, you the whole thing with colour is inviting and you have to be ready to actually, I suppose, bring bring that, that kind of people into your life as well. Absolutely. So, so that's yeah. why with mourning, I mean, you know, Queen Victoria wore black um, after her husband died and that became, became the new mourning colour. Okay. So sometimes if I work with people and they've gone through a rough time um, and I say, OK, do you know what, if you let, let's get let's get out of that. If I know that's not their true personality that's going through a particular phase, I work with them and bring colour back in their life. But I'm not going to go over the top. So I might say, OK, let's start with pattern. OK. Let's yes, how you passion. Feel with passion. So although this may be your color, right? You know, let's just start with that because you've got to work with people about how they want to stand out. I'm the spring extrovert, you know, big personality mm -hmm. thing, you know, and I'm also an introvert as well. I've kind of <laughs> so you know, I'm walking down the street wearing you know the orange shirts and pink the other day. Maybe it's an age thing, you know. And, and I, like afterwards, I said, "Geez, the people were looking at me," but you know. It doesn't no. bother me, but I might work no. with people and say, you know, if I know they're my colours, there's no bloody way. So it's just really important that, okay. you know, it's like with you with a personality during the week, you know, and getting to know you, I, I could kind of take your big colour palette, which let's say we put you into autumn. And I would say to you, Sharon, I think you're a secondary spring, but I would take you towards the brighter shades of autumn. That's and that's probably you. where I would feel more comfortable. Um, and, you know, with regard to, as I said, even to my own wardrobe and you spoke about pattern there, that's where or uh, when I tend to bring a bit of colour into my wardrobe. Um, like it was it was a really good exercise because, you know, after we spoke, I went upstairs and I kind of looked, um, you know, at the clothes and I was like, gosh, I, I really don't have a huge amount of colour. Like I have a blue denim shirt, I have the yellow jumper. I that lovely blouse. Uh, yeah, you made me buy <laughs> the Emma Manley. Uh, yeah, which is gorgeous. Shirt, on it. Yeah, which I'm delighted with. But my my color is is in pattern. Like, for example, this is a, a blazer I have, a Zara blazer, and I yeah. that's how I bring in gorgeous. my yeah. color, and I love that. Um, now I would wear a black cami with that. Yeah. So well, but this. Yeah. The thing this I is, the, as I said, the bit of, you know, how I bring colour. And then uh, this one was a bit mad, but just 
with regard to, you know, when you're saying about, how, you know, people maybe veering away from the black and introducing a bit of color, like, now that's mega, mega bright. And I don't know, I mean, I wore it once to a talk I was giving. I still think it's a very bright, but, you know, how did you I'm, feel as I said, that's how I brought in a bit of color because I, I liked the colors, if yes. that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, but that, that, that's a start but, that you like colors. Some people, you know, don't like it. And I think as well, just to, you know, well, I don't want to scare people. Color is, yeah. you know, so first of all, it can be extremely slimming. So, you know, Victoria yes. Beckham, when she launched her dress range first, she had that panel of color the whole way down, yeah. right? So yeah. she had the dress with the, with the paler sides and that panel. Yeah. So it brought you right in. It's so beautiful, pure, yeah. yeah. Really beautiful. And, and, and everybody from whatever size you were looked, looked amazing in a Victoria Beckham yeah. dress. And then you've got the, so how to replicate that, I suppose, in real life is that you wear the one color the whole way down. It doesn't have to be black. I wear, a, let's say, a bright jacket over it because it's just continuing okay. that line, be it burgundy, be it red, be it whatever. It's just, it's continuing the line because if you wear a color that breaks you up, you're going to cut yourself in half. So that's where you can do tone on tone, yeah. lots of different shades of green, lots of different shades of camo. That's lovely. That's you know. beautiful, the tone on tone. I've seen, I've seen that. And again, love it, absolutely love it. Because like I'm five foot four, so sometimes, again, I can find, depending on pattern, um, you know, some will suit. And sometimes the pattern might be just, whoa, way too big for me. And yes. the pattern is, where, what's, it's wearing me I'm, or I'm wearing it. or You know, it's not, it's not right yeah. for me. So I'm sure we're, yeah. with, with, while we're talking about colour, pattern is also extremely important as to what might suit us and what might not. Yeah, and, and where, the, where the pattern is as well is really important. I know we're digressing. Yeah. But for example, I was doing this talk one night and I had a beautiful pattern dress from a boutique here called Anastasia. And I think it was Fiji. It was a lovely Irish label. And oh, I, I love Fiji, yeah. And, uh, beautiful label. And I, I, I showed yeah. it up and people said, God, I couldn't wear that. And I said, no, the point is that it is a pattern dress, but around the middle area, which can be challenging, they made the pattern smaller. Okay, so it had an illusion. ever. So right. it, was, it was huge up here to draw the eye upwards. Like yeah. it, it draws the eye upwards. It was huge at the bottom, but that middle funny area just yeah. had yeah. a smaller pattern that really brought ourselves in. So clever, people, very like, clever, <laughs> very clever, really. And then yeah. I love design it, but people sometimes stay away from passion. And the, the general rule around passion is that the bigger, if the bigger it is, sometimes yes. if it's all in one full block, that doesn't matter. But if you're wearing a top and let's say your your top area you're not particularly comfortable with just make sure that if it's a flower the flowers are hugely spread out okay. because that will widen the area but if it's a small little passion it could just minimize it just and again a bit with the stripes Aoife I was always told on me I think that even though I do wear vert, uh, horizontal stripes sometimes that you know depending on where they're so basically depending on where the stripes are placed Absolutely. I mean, yeah. look, you know, I could, I, yeah. I'll avoid stripe. I'm a pear shape. I'll avoid stripe going across ways on my thigh area. That's what well, I do. I'm small, so yeah. I'll do whatever way I want. Right. But in my challenging areas, yeah, I will, I will avoid it, you know. And it's, 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 there's something out there for everybody. You know, we, we have to look at fashion rules in a kind of a light way because we're, we're all so individual. Yeah, so, and that's, you know, that's the great thing. That's the but, wonderful thing. When we were talking there, uh, as I said, about black and how I suppose I try and veer my way, uh, you know, from black and introduce that bit of colour. For those who are watching at home, um, I mean, you have beautiful accessories. I've seen you with scarves. Like, what is a good way if you're just dipping your toe, I suppose, you know, in the colour journey or you want to incorporate, especially after listening to what you've just said uh, the last few minutes about colour and how it affects us, you know, what would be some good ways to, yeah, it, um, enhance the black or kind of get us out of black, if that makes yeah. sense. But first of all, I mean, black is, is, is still a wonderful colour, okay? And I it's, love it. I have yeah, to say, I love it. Absolutely. <laughs> It's associated with chicness. It's associated with power. If we think of the, the biggest brand leaders in the world have black in their logo, Mercedes, Chanel. Can we imagine Chanel being yeah. able white? We couldn't. You know, it's a yeah. very powerful logo or, or powerful color. What I would say about black is that 
when you wear it, it can make you feel powerful. It may not send that message as well to the person <gasps> that's looking at you. Okay, and this goes back to what we said at the beginning. Yes, okay, okay. okay. Now, it's still a very powerful color. Of course, I have it in my wardrobe. People say, oh, I need to wear black because it slims me down. And we've got to get away from that perception. Um, because if yeah. you wear a color in a clever way, like I said, in blocks or color with other color, it can really slim you down. And the thing with yeah. black, like I said, you know, if, if it's, it's, it's very powerful. Um, I, was, I, so I was actually speaking of something recently, talking about black. And, and I said, you know, if you had a team of people and you were to deliver an upbeat message in, in, in a color, uh, the last color you choose is black, okay? Because you are trying to comfort these people, let them know that everything is okay. Yes. Um, and it's, it's not necessarily the color of communication, but it's still beautiful. We have it in our wardrobes. It's so wonderful. Yeah. When I wear black, uh, I wear it two ways. I mean, we get into how people okay. wear it. Of course, yeah. I have, you know, the most money I've ever spent is a pair of black Victoria Beckham trousers that I went to Tesco to get the shopping. <laughs> and back with nothing because it went to the Victoria Beckham trousers about four years ago. But they're beautifully cut. They, you know, they slim me in all the right places and they're a fantastic base to, to what I wear. So, of course, we have to have black. And I say to everybody, everyone, you know, needs a black jacket in, in their wardrobe. Yeah, I wear a black blazer. The black blazer, you know, yeah. so I wear the black, black dress, the black dress. Now, I, yes, absolutely. And I, I, I suppose I, I don't, wear I don't think actually have one. <laughs> I have one, a turban say, probably keep it for funerals or something like that. But no, I, I, I actually, when I was in work, and just to show you how, yeah, do, yeah, I Please. wear blacks because, like I said, we can't just all go out and buy a new wardrobe. And no, so, definitely you know, not. When I go into people's houses, I would never say, don't wear that again now there's and that's what i love I mean. about you you will you will basically go to somebody's wardrobe and what's there you will look at new ways possibly maybe of wearing it exactly you know which now, is if, if there's something that yeah is totally dulling them down you know we will okay. say okay guys that's got to go into the maybe right or whatever but you know black let's say against your um skin you know in terms of i wear it and i'll show you actually this is a great way um yeah let's spot. see how you wear it Aoife. so this would be let's say a metallic oh, polo that um i love that metallic polo i know i wish i'd bought a few of them um and actually it's oh, only that, my, that was that the h&m one no it's the um that's another no, one it's well, the cream the one Zara that's the h&m one. one yeah it's Zara, and as you can yeah. see it's just it's softer here because the whole thing with color by it the is. way, it is. Yeah, yeah, you see it versus this. It's just yes, it's just completely different. It's different, and the whole the, that that's the thing is that it's not. This is the zone we are talking about when it comes to color against our skin and anti aging yeah. and all that. So it's not that I'm saying, gosh, you, you know, God, black doesn't suit me. If you want to make black work, before I go into kind of my wardrobe, you know, the longer you keep it away from your face, the more skin you can have up here. That it's not showing. So, like a V-neck or something like that. V-neck, the square, you know, uh, something like okay. that. That because you know, I have, I have a square black top. If I look at, um, I love black with uh, simple white. You know, that's a very chic wear of wearing it. Um, classic. Just classic. Oh, yeah. You know, monochrome is probably my favorite wear of wearing black. I know it's very Chanel, and normally I have my yeah. Chanel pearls. Um, is that the Zara that. tux jacket? That's the Zara Tux jacket, and everybody should have a Zara yeah. Tux jacket. It's it's just it's fabulous. I actually I do need to. Get, I, you've put that up before, and I absolutely love it. Uh, I have a very old Tux jacket upstairs. Um, do you remember A Wear? Yes. Do you remember A Wear? Yeah, I loved A Wear. Yes. Yeah. A where it used to be in Stillorgan shopping centre, oh and it's an yeah. old jacket. Now it's it, I need to kind of. I actually do need to get probably uh, the Zara one because this is, I mean, that'll tell you how old it is. Yeah. <laughs> but I do love a tux jacket. Tux jacket is great. And the one thing I would say about black, and I am really now, I give out in people's houses, they know me, I always come, is that if I see tired black, okay? As in, yeah, well, this one is tired. Yeah, yeah. If you see, like, we all, we all have it, but you know, when you're somewhere about four o'clock in the afternoon, you look down at your trousers and you go, oh, they're actually not black, they're gray. Dump them, <laughs> right? That's where in the house. Okay, that's me. it, right? That's yeah, going to come yeah. with me. You know, just you need to replace your black. Black is black. Yeah. It's not grey. It's black. Okay, and that's really okay. important. So then I might take, let's say, a black. This is um, 
a black jumper from uh, it's a lovely cashmere knit. It's so often from Irish designer Sian Jacobs. I love her stuff. And this is just a very old necklace. So again, I put a piece of coloured jewellery yes. onto it. And it just changes everything, you know. What I also can do is I, I play with black and textures. So I might take, this is kind of a reflective necklace. And I put it here. Okay. So that's a part. I see bit what of, you're doing. Yeah. You know, it's not that dull black. It's just, it's just yeah. giving me a little bit of colour. Um, and also, just on the black and white, I have got, oh yeah, actually, I don't have it here because things in the wash. Um, <laughs> if you have a cost collar, they're great. You know, the fake collars that go underneath your... Oh, uh, yes, I think you... Is it yeah. the pink? No. Is it a pink one you no, have? No, that's, that's a separate one from Grand High. That's a separate that's one. Actually, this one here. So that's just oh. where I take a dull color this pastel is not great on me right you can see you can see the white going up into my face I don't know if you can see yes. that yes yeah it's not good like it's just that's killing me versus okay. this you know you can just see the it's completely different yeah so I take my Joanne Hines collar and then I can still wear my dress because I'm not I'm not getting rid of stuff right. that I don't no. you know that, that I that doesn't suit me uh, a great way of wearing black as well again with white this is a Zara um Oh, very old. Oh, that's stunning. Yeah, and again with the white cuffs. So again, yeah, that's you know, beautiful. It's a lovely jacket. Put the white under black. Um, how else do I wear it? Of course, with the scarf. The scarf is always the most obvious way. And just I suppose again with the print, I spoke about that. Find a colour doesn't suit. Again, I'll take this is a pastel jacket I have from Reese. The pastel washes me out. It's awful. Okay. But then I'll put up this little shirt underneath it. It's a other story shirt. And yeah. again, I'm bringing the colour to here. The difference it makes, Aoife. You can see it. You can see absolutely. Yes, it. yeah. So also with the colour. Colour loves colour. Red and burgundy. Beautiful together. I love, I love that combo. Yeah, love that. Um, you yeah. know, red and blue. I put this, um, this is my red and blue top that I got from Arquette. And I'm kind of wearing a variation of it. But that's, again... You know, it's just stunning. Your skin tone, it's yeah. just so yeah. much better. Um, you know, everyone has their yellow uh, in terms of, oh yeah, a scarf. The scarf is a great way. I wish I had one here with me. Um, Aoife, I'll hold on there yourself. just one sec. I just want to check with anyone who's watching. Is, is the connection okay? If somebody could, yeah, somebody was just saying, I don't know, uh, that's Mother Marzipan. I don't know whether it's uh, her internet or this internet. I just want to make sure that... Um, where do you get those? Oh, somebody's asking it. Oh, yeah, sorry, we're getting the thumbs up. No, connection is fine. Phew. As I said, I just wanted to be sure, Aoife, yeah. because there's nothing worse when you're watching the lives and if the connection is bad, I'd oh, rather no, stop yeah, and start. It's really annoying, yeah. Maybe. Okay, perfect. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone. Yeah. Just, Aoife, when you had that beautiful uh, Joanne Hines neck piece, it, I mean, obviously, Joanne Hines, they're magnificent. I've seen them. I don't have one myself, but they are just beautiful. Um. Is there anywhere else um, or any other kind of recommendations or where do you tend to buy your, you know, pieces? Oh, my God. Well, Joanne, I'm, I'm always on to Joanne to go and do that again, that necklace. Um, it's like this, this is kind of J. Lane. It's from the Avnet, about three years old. And yeah. I can't seem to, I've, you know, scoured eBay, Bestiaire. I can't seem to get another one. So for me, you know, I... Um, the way I shop, Sharna, is I never shop for an occasion. If I see a piece, I'm within reason and financially within reason as well. And, you know, if I know that's going to have a place in my wardrobe for many years, or if I know that's going to complement what Something I that's in. You know, okay. and, and I will collect these pieces. Some of my pieces go back 10, 15 years. Some of the best ones actually have been yeah. in a stall in France or something like that. I, but you have a great eye, Aoife, um, and any of your, your jewellery or your pieces. I mean, you had, do you, do you remember, uh, was it last summer, you picked up, now I was this close to getting it, but again, I had the moment where I was like, right, what else is in your wardrobe that you could use? Yeah. I mean, this is it, you're killing me, Aoife, because every time you put something up, I'm like, your blouse the other day, what did I message you that evening? Oh, I've the top shop of... unique. Yeah, great. Blast. I was like, I think I need that. But uh, you had this magnificent belt. Now you have a tiny little waist. The belt with the huge big buckle. Um, and it was in the sale, I think, at the time. And I thought, God, it's magnificent. 
And a belt, again, a bit like a piece of jewellery, can, you know, be a statement piece. But I was like, I've nothing really else in the wardrobe to go with it. So it's just... Yeah, I mean, Stop. accessories are not, how would I, I could say them? I mean, accessories are the kind of pieces that when you buy them, it's not like you're going to wear them, some, wear them straight away. That's a great belt. And I have put that on quite a few dresses. Obviously, my lifestyle is large at the moment <laughs> around that belt. But, uh, you know, I don't ever mind spending money on accessories yeah. because my sister actually gifted me 30 years ago, a Shane New belt. Remember Shane New down in... Yes, the, yeah, the yeah. Back, the other company. And the leather is still beautiful in it. Um, I bought a very good Prada belt 10, 12 years ago. It's still years absolutely ago. perfect. Look, I've also belts from Zara. So it's not, you know, yeah. it's, it's, I've also bought a Gucci belt three years ago. It wore horrendously and I will never buy okay. a Gucci okay. belt again. Um, it just, whatever it did, it just wore really badly. So I, I would say to people, you know, um, accessories are great fun. It, some of mine are from, you know, Monsoon. So the, the, it, yeah. it has to be, I'm always thinking about how I can elevate an outfit. Okay. With and a great way as we, you know, getting back to the back, a great way to elevate a black outfit, like we were saying, is to inject it, be it with, as I said, a neck piece, the color of the print, a piece of jewelry, something like that is an easy way to bring in that little bit of color into your yeah. wardrobe yeah because we don't yeah. want to like ultimately sure no, we have to feel great in our clothes you know yeah. we, we don't it's like i always say to people you know when i do talks just take one thing away it's not about oh, god yeah. he's here i've got to go and, and change everything it, it, it really isn't i mean if if i feel strong enough about something with somebody i mean that's what they're paying me to do i will yes. in that direction um but you know it's 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 just about making use of of what we have so okay. you know even like if someone says go out i always recommend somebody will say okay how do we get into this color i say go out and buy a scarf you know especially if we're into time and um, go out and buy a scarf in your color i'll, I'll take their fan and i'll pick their best color and say just go out and do that yeah. and uh you know see how they feel and you know i thankfully Baby so steps. far uh, i haven't had anyone say you know Aoife, i don't like the only thing i did have uh, from somebody is that they said um that that people kept talking to them in work when they wear this color and that they weren't getting anything done. <laughs> so I said, <laughs> okay, well maybe maybe you just need to you know tone down the car that day or whatever it is. So um, you know it's okay. it's just great for your mood and and you know for me it's just been I, I can explore my creativity and my personality with this and we we don't all have to go down the street wearing orange trousers and pink tops. You know that's not what it's about. Um, but to embrace that colorful side, absolutely. Just very quickly, Aoife, uh, Sylvia there. Um, thank you so much, Sylvia, that this is so interesting. Uh, really enjoying, always loved yours. Oh, my, my style. <laughs> Thanks, Sylvia. I know Sylvia, uh, both looking fab. And actually, Aoife, I'm gonna put you on the spot here. Um, because I said there's so much, and oh my God, I, I, I wish we had a more time. We might do yeah. it, we might do it again. Um, what, okay, I mean, obviously we've talked about color, which is great, and I, honest to God, Aoife, I am going to, I'm going to try harder. I really am, um, because I do like it. I, I just, yeah, I need to push myself uh, a little bit, and thank you, obviously, for helping me during the week uh, to see what would suit my skin tone uh, and what might be better for me. Uh, and obviously I know people can get in touch with you, um, you know, as I said, for consultations, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and they'll, you know, message you directly. Um, if I was to say to you, you know, leaving color aside, just style tips in general, Aoife, what would be, uh, how are we doing time-wise? Yeah, what would be your top three? I hope I haven't put you on the spot here. Well, I suppose, the biggest first one really is about dressing for your body shape. Um, okay. I can't describe uh, how it actually is almost like losing that mental instant half stone. Um, right. So when I, uh, let's say, went to London and I trained in this, I thought, oh, I know, I know everything that there is to know about body shape, you know, and actually <laughs> I realized I knew very little until I actually started yeah. working with people. So what, what, that is essentially is maximizing the pieces we love about ourselves right okay. you know because we can all say i'm gonna wait till i lose that half stone or we can all say why can't mm. she wear those trousers and i look crap in them or why 
vice yeah. versa, right? And this is, I suppose, where we have to stop comparing ourselves to others as well. Right? As me, Venice said last week, comparison is the thief of joy. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And that was a great thing I took oh. away from this last week. And Completely. Yeah. yeah. And back to my mother, the lid for every pot. Um, yes, you know, it's so it's, true though, Aoife. It is so true. And we need to look yeah. at it in every uh, aspect of our lives. Yeah. But I would say with the body shape that, you know, people say, oh, I, I love nothing about myself. I love. And then I go to people's house and say, hold on a second, you know, where, where did that waist come from? And, and we <laughs> yeah. can have a waist whether we're size six or size 26. And yeah. there is, if we're an hourglass shape, nine times out of 10, even if we lose the one stone, half stone, two stone, whatever it is, we'll yeah. always have an hourglass shape within within reason you know no matter how much weight i lose it'll you know it'll i lose it from up here you know my i can tone up my my bottom half but i'm generally bigger so why it's important to dress your body shape is that when we dress in proportion things just look better on us right when we dress yeah. in balance things just look better yeah. so if i take um and also it makes shopping an awful lot easier i know if i pick okay. up a, a skirt because i'm pear shape a skirt that goes like that forget it. Yeah. I'm not going to into the dressing room. It's going to get me across the thighs. It'll be too big in my waist. And I just go, I feel depressed now. So when I think of, let's say, a pear shape. So a pear generally is smaller on the top than they are. Right. Like, Small right. waist. Yeah. Well, no, if we, if we measure ourselves across here, I okay. my, my shoulders here would be narrower than my hips. Okay. So oh, I'm gosh. going to say, right, I'm going to put all my attention basically uh, north of the waist. So I'm going to take right. all my drama. If I want to go around looking like, you know, a Tiger King, I'm not going to wear it on my, on my leggings. I'm going to put all my print, big stuff, puff sleeves, everything up here, right? Yeah. I'm just going to move the eye upwards. I keep the bottom pretty simple. Just oh, yeah. look at, people say, oh, you know, I'm very big around the middle area. And so, okay, let's look at, um, there's a great cape jacket in Zara actually that with the sides that's kind of split oh up, yes up here. yes and if somebody's got a, a kind of uh, middle area that they really dislike um, I would say okay wear the cape jacket show your beautiful slender arm show your lovely slender okay. legs no one's looking at this you know okay. they're not looking okay. at this they're looking at your legs so it's really so, about accentuating the bits that you like it's like so the body shape head. is obviously important and actually really important. just Sorry to cut across you there, Aoife. Just people asking. Um, I will be saving this to YouTube so people can watch. Um, and I know somebody was asking about the one we did together, Aoife. You have that on YouTube. I have it on YouTube. I yeah. YouTube so just to, if people um, yeah. are wondering, both will be saved to YouTube. So yes. body shape is important. Any other tips for us? Body shape is important. Um, I would say to you, we've got to look at our shopping habits. Um, because we have seemingly, there's a report in the Irish Times last week, we've 60% uh, more clothes. We own 60% more clothes than we did back in 2000. And Good Lord, okay. A lot of it's not our fault, Sharna. When, you know, we had, Zara and H&M sometimes can produce up to 24 collections a year. So, yeah. of course, you know, what's in, what's new? We're human, you know. Of course, we go, oh, there's a new top. But actually, look at your wardrobe. So okay. I can I can actually talk about um, you know sustainable brands and all that. The most sustainable clothes are what's in your wardrobe. And look, we all love a bit of fun, but we have to look at what we have, you know. And certainly, yeah. when I look at my top ten favorite pieces, they're pieces I've had for quite a while. For years. Generally, within and, reason, they're good pieces. But yeah. shop in your wardrobe is really important. Yeah. And we have yeah. plenty of time now, Aoife, so we can really actually go up and look at the wardrobe and take the time and go through it. Because sometimes, and again, I'll be very quick because I think we've only around three minutes left. Uh, yeah. You know, you're scrolling through Instagram and, you know, you might be having a bit of a down day and it's like, ooh, there's a top there and I'll just add that to cart. And, you know, before we know it, there's another thing then in the wardrobe. So yeah. absolutely, let's look at our wardrobes, everyone. Let's see what's there before we go on to the app and start adding to cart and I'm definitely yeah. going to try you know have to, to do we're, that. We're like this time of the year we want the but yeah actually I would say you know I, I would look at this time of the year look and invest in a great classic a classic for me in summertime is a great t-shirt or a great cotton skirt okay. now that suits my shape or a great cotton dress okay. and cotton I'm I'm really I suppose uh, particular about because breathability at home and all that is really important yes. the wash is great yeah. as well and um, so I never mind investing in 
uh, good cotton. And I suppose a third tip really quickly before we get signed off. Yeah, that, literally know, two minutes. Um, I would say, I, I would say take five. Take five is around picking your top five outfits that work. 